This is my hospital bag. Um, pretty much, I kind of just put everything in a duffel bag. Um, but I'm also debating whether to use a luggage instead because it has wheels and maybe it will be easier to wheel it in and out of the hospital, especially after Emma comes. Um, but when we visited the hospital, um, the recovery rooms are kind of small, so we're not sure whether we should use a luggage or not because it takes more room to get it open versus kind of just leaving the things in a duffel bag. So yeah, I'm not sure. Still debating what bag to use. And then that is my baby bag. Uh, sorry, not baby bag, a diaper bag. Um, just in case uh, we get stuff from the hospital and need an extra bag to take home the extra things that we'll be getting. Let me show you what I packed. Okay, let me start with the things that I packed uh, for myself uh, and, and John. So we have slippers and thick socks to wear at the hospital. This is mine and then this is John's. These are just slippers that I collected from, well this, this is from, um, what is this, Target Share Line, I think? And then I got this from one of the hotels that I stayed in before. And I think, well I'm just, I'm planning to just throw the slippers out um, uh, before we come home. And this is basically a bag for my skincare products. I have um, some sunscreen samples, I have eye mask, I have these heated uh, sleeping masks in case I need, in case I need to be, uh, <laughs> in case I need a sleeping mask. I mean like an eye mask if the room is too bright. And this is kind of cool because it it uh, heats up and then it smells really good. I also have uh, Philosophy facial cleansing cloths in case I'm too tired to actually wash my face and I could just wipe it. Um, and then of course some serums and, serums and moisturizer. And uh, cleanser, also Purity Made Simple, just because it's a very easy cleanser to use, you know, and it's it removes the makeup and all that. I have some, oh, I have a shower cap, I have shower gel, uh, some lotion. I hear hospitals can get really dry. Oh, this stuff is really good. This is basically a nipple cream that doubles as um, a lip balm. And I first got a sample of this in my, what is that box thing called? Birch box, yes. Birch box. And um, I loved it so much that I actually got two of these full size ones. It's called Dr. Lip. Um, and it is by far the best lip balm that I have ever tried. Uh, when when my lips get really dry, and the typical chapstick and lip balms just don't seem to work, and I I was skeptical about this at first because it's a nipple nipple cream. Um, but then I tried it on my lips, and it's super moisturizing and very healing. So I thought it's fitting that I bring a nipple balm that doubles as a lip balm. <laughs> okay, and I have an a empty plastic bag for dirty laundry. And then I have disposable toothbrush and travel size um, dental related things for the hospital, mouthwash. Uh, I have a comb here. And, and this is uh, the makeup that I'm bringing, just BB cream powder, blush, eyeliner, and a lipstick. Just minimal. And then body wash, 
and then some trampoline conditioner samples and these are all travel size and uh, this is kind of like a nightgown and I thought this would be you know very this is not maternity nightgown or anything it's just a regular nightgown but I thought it's easy access to the boob <laughs> for breastfeeding um, and it's a nightgown so it's a dress so it should be comfortable and I think I would have to bring a robe because the hospital can just in case it gets cold yeah okay so that's all the stuff I'm bringing John still has to pack his own things I asked him to take care of that on his own so I don't have to pack for him and now let me show you what I packed for Emma okay these are the things that I packed for Emma um, this is a blanket and I plan to use this in the car to cover her up uh, when she's in the car seat um, this is very special to me this is basically um, for her photo shoot at the hospital it's a scarf that I uh, it's actually from my wedding dress so um, after after we got married uh, I basically turned my wedding dress into a short dress and I um, turned the, the train into a scarf and I plan to use this to wrap Emma in for her photo shoot and I think it would be very special um, having her in my wedding dress place <laughs> um, this is a swaddling thing it's not a full blanket it just it looks like a sack and then you kind of just put her in a little sack and then swaddle her and I think this will look good in photos too because um, of the texture and also this is a solid solid print against the lace wrapped around her. I think that would look really good. I also got some hair accessories for her. This will probably be too big on her. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, these are just headbands also for the photo shoot. A little tiara. And then I packed four sets of outfits for her. I know that we don't really, we only need one outfit for going home. But I just couldn't decide which ones to bring. This is a flamingo one, um, and it's it's a set with a hat and onesie and a what is this thing called sleeper maybe? And then this is another set. Um, this is a strawberry with strawberry polka dotted onesie and like a sleeper. And um, these are also sleepers, but a little bit thicker just in case it it gets cold uh, right now it's not very cold but the weather is kind of unpredictable these days um, so we'll have to see maybe she'll need to wear two or three layers yeah I don't know and um, this is another sleeper that comes with a with a bib and a and a hat so and I also thought maybe I should bring extra just in case you know she has a poop explosion or something like that yeah so this is everything that I packed for her and so far everything fits in um, this duffel bag and then I'll see if I should transfer the stuff into the luggage so yeah um, I also have packed um, two external batteries um, for my phone in case I, in case I can't really get it charged um, at the hospital uh, with the outlet and I think that's about it um, probably we'll be packing some protein bars in case we get hungry and in, in case we need we can't easily get our get the food so that's pretty much it um, I know I probably won't use everything so I will 
give you an update afterwards and tell you what I actually used.